Hi, welcome to my channel, Technology Talks. Apple has just dropped a bombshell with its announcement of the scary fast event set to take place on October 30th. In this video, we're going to delve into all the tantalizing details and leaks that have surfaced in the last 12 to 24 hours. Trust me, it's a thrilling roller coaster of speculation and anticipation that's going to leave you on the edge of your seat. The event's name, Sierra Fast, is already giving us a clue about what's in store, and there's a subtle hint on Apple's website with an animation that transforms into the Finder logo signaling a map-focused event. But what's sending shivers down our spines is the expected unveiling of Apple's new lineup of Macs, featuring the highly anticipated M3 series chipsets. Mark Gurman, a well-known Apple insider, has tipped us off about the potential stars of the show. Race yourself for the grand entrance of the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max chipsets. That's right, not just one, but three new chipsets. This revelation alone means we're in for a treat with the release of a new iMac, a revamped MacBook Pro, and not one, but three variants of MacBook Pros. The standard, the M3 Pro, and the M3 Max. You might be wondering why there's no mention of a new MacBook Air in this mix. Well, it's all part of Apple's master plan. Just like how Apple updates its iPhone Pro models with the latest chipsets first, it seems they're adopting a similar strategy for their Macs. The MacBook Air, not being a Pro model, might see its M3 variant in the near future. But for now, the focus is on the Pro lineup. If you're eager to get your hands on the new MacBook Pro 13-inch model, it appears that it will sport the M3 chipset, perhaps with a touch bar model. But the excitement doesn't end there. The 14- and 16-inch MacBook Pros will shine even brighter with the M3 Pro and M3 Max chipsets, promising a significant performance boost. Now let's shift gears for a moment and talk about the exciting giveaway happening right here on this channel. You have a chance to win iPhone 15 Pro Max and all you need to do is drop a comment below, sharing your plans for upgrading your tech in late 2023 or even in 2024. This international giveaway is an opportunity you don't want to miss, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell for updates on the giveaway, which will run from December 25th to December 31st. But before we move on, a quick word of caution. There are still scammers and spammers out there impersonating this channel. Please report any suspicious activity and remember, we won't ask you to pay for delivery costs. Now let's revisit the question of why we expect to see the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max at the October event. If we look back to last year, we were anticipating the M2 Pro and M2 Max, which were delayed until January. The introduction of these new chipsets would align Apple's releases and possibly establish a pattern of focusing on Pro models first, then rolling out the M3 series for the MacBook Air and Mac Mini in the following year. The event itself has some peculiar details, is happening on a Monday, a departure from the usual Tuesday or Wednesday Apple event tradition. The timing is also different, with the event set for 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, which translates to 1 o'clock a.m. UK time. This means no live stream for this event, but rest assured, there will be comprehensive coverage the following day. Moreover, this event will be a digital-only affair reminiscent of the COVID-19 era. No physical invitations have been sent out, further emphasizing the shift towards virtual events and press releases. In conclusion, the CRA Fast event promises a spine-tingling lineup of Macs, featuring the new M3 series chipsets. Apple's strategy appears to favor Pro models, setting the stage for exciting updates in the coming year. So fasten your seatbelts and mark your calendars for October 30th. It's going to be one exhilarating ride into the future of Mac.